Hello everyone. Today we are going to read A Butterfly Smile. The author is Matangi Subramanian. The illustrator is Lavanya Naidu and the publisher is Pratham Books. So let's read A Butterfly Smile. What do you think is a butterfly smile? Have you seen a butterfly? Have you seen it smile? I haven't. So what do you think it is? So what do you see in this picture? You see this girl and she is smiling. Is that what they're talking about? Let's see. Line up class. Let's go to the park. Laila Miss says, all the students hold hands, chattering away. Kavya stands by herself. As they start walking, Laila Miss asks, does anyone know what a caterpillar becomes when it grows up? Kavya's stomach flips. She knows the answer. Should she say something? Kavya and her family have just moved to Bengaluru from her village. They live at the construction site where her parents work. It's hard living in a half-finished house. The air smells of smoke and the honking traffic makes it hard to sleep. The towering buildings, zooming cars and busy people make her feel very, very small. Kavya has been coming to school for a week. She still hasn't spoken to anyone. What if they make fun of her accent or tease her because she's never been to school before? Kavya takes a deep breath and raises her hand. In a noisy city like Bengaluru, she can't be quiet forever. When caterpillars grow up, they become butterflies, Kavya says. That's right, Leila Miss says. Caterpillars are only caterpillars for a few weeks, Kavya says. They spend that whole time eating leaves. They must get very big, says Mary, her classmate. They do. After they eat and eat and eat, Caterpillars weave cocoons on the sides of plants. They go inside where they grow and change, says Kavya. That's correct, Lela Miss says. They stay in the cocoons for about two weeks. When they come out, they are butterflies. Look, we are at the park, Mary says. Kavya gasps. The park is covered in butterflies. 
blue butterflies the color of rivers yellow butterflies the color of sunlight orange butterflies the color of ripe chikus black and white butterflies the colors of starry skies these are all the colors kavya misses from her village she feels her heart flutter every year butterflies travel thousands of kilometers to come to this park they are here for more food better weather and a safe place to lay eggs lela miss says this journey is called migration don't they get tired flapping their wings for so long a classmate asks if there is a strong wind they don't have to flap their wings kavya says they spread their wings and glide that must be bumpy mary whispers to kavya kavya thinks about the bus ride to bengaluru squeezed in between all the luggage bumping and tumbling for hours and hours and hours is that how a butterfly feels on the wind when butterflies migrate they follow rivers to stay healthy they stop along the river bank to soak up minerals with their feet it's called mud puddling lela miss says mud puddling mary says that sounds like fun mary and kavya smile at each other it is kavya says but now puddles are hard to find in kavya's village men in trucks take sand away from the river the weather gets hotter and hotter there is less and less rain last year the river went dry the butterflies didn't have enough water to mud puddle kavya's family didn't have enough water to farm that's why they moved to bengaluru you know a lot about butterflies kavya says lela miss that's because they are my favorite insects says kavya why do you love butterflies so much kavya asks mary how can kavya choose just one thing she loves how their bodies are sometimes spotted and sometimes striped how they drink nectar with their long noses how they spread pollen which makes more flowers grow and here you can see they're all at the park and looking at all the different 
pretty butterflies. They fly far, but wherever they land, they make new friends, Kavya says, squeezing Mary's hand. They are very small, but they are also very brave. Just like you, Lela Miss says. Kavya smiles a smile as wide as a butterfly's wings. I hope you enjoyed this story. Thank you. So how can you help butterflies? Let's see. Make a butterfly rest station. Butterflies in India migrate twice a year. Their journey is getting harder and harder because our forests and rivers are disappearing. Butterflies don't have enough places to rest. Many get tired along the way. One way to help butterflies is to make safe spaces for them to stop and have a good meal. Here's how to make a butterfly rest station. Find a flat vessel with high edges like a thali or a plate. Butterflies love bright colors. Paint the vessel red, yellow or orange. Fill the vessel with butterfly food. It's easy to make. Mix four cups of water with one cup of sugar. Add pieces of overripe fruit. Butterflies love bananas, guavas, mangoes, papayas and oranges. Keep the vessel out on your veranda, windowsill or anywhere outside. Clean and refill the vessel every two to three days. To attract even more butterflies, plant flowers that butterflies love. You can plant verbena, geraniums, dahlias or sunflowers. You don't need a lot of space. You can plant them in pots on the ground or keep them on windowsills. The difficult words in this story are caterpillar, the baby form of a butterfly that looks like a worm, cocoon, a covering or case made by some insects to protect themselves or their young ones as they grow. Accent A way of saying words that is common to a certain part of the country but different from other parts. Migration Moving from one place to another. Minerals, material found in food that is needed for growth of living beings. For example, iron, copper. Nectar, sweet liquid made by a plant that attracts butterflies and birds. Pollen, fine powder produced by plants that helps new plants grow. Try these questions. Have you moved from one place to another recently? Write about how you felt and what you missed about the old place. 
you can also ask and write about your friends if they moved try making a butterfly rest station and send us pictures did you see any butterflies near it